Allison, thank you. Hamilton County deputies say a reported suspicious vehicle call led to a chase down I-75 about three hours ago. The chase first led deputies through several Harrison residential areas. The vehicle crashed into another at Lee Highway and Hunter Road, and deputies were able to finally stop the vehicle on I-75. One of the two people in the car was arrested, and charges are pending. More and more people are wanting to be trained on how to respond in active shooter situations here in Chattanooga. Channel 3's Michelle Heron saw evidence of that demand at a class held this morning. She joins us now in the studio. Tell us more, Michelle. Well, Cindy, not only is there a high demand for these kinds of classes, but today I learned it's being taught by someone who knows exactly what it's like to be in the situation they're preparing for. What's going to kill somebody first? And Greg Stonecipher is learning how to apply a tourniquet. He's one of about 80 people, all here for the same reason. In today's world, it seems like the, the thing to have some knowledge about. They want to know what to do if they ever find themselves in an active shooter situation. Fred Bennett wants to take this information back to his ministry. It's more important to be prepared mentally for what to do in a situation of emergency than to know how to shoot the weapon even because mental preparation will help you know when to do what to do and and how to save yourself and others. This is the first time Chattanooga police have teamed up with Erlanger's trauma services team to teach basic plans and first aid. The goal to survive and they're getting the information from someone who has used it firsthand. Sergeant Sean O'Brien is now using his training and his experience from the terror attack here in 2015 to educate the public on what to do if they ever find themselves in an active shooter situation. I will teach this class to a group of uh, 500 or a group of five. Sergeant Sean O'Brien was one of six Chattanooga police officers who fired back at the shooter at the Naval and Marine Reserve Center on Amnicola Highway. Things that happened July 16th, um, there were things that were done by, uh, by folks in that building that are directly what we teach, and they made a difference. He knows the importance of being aware, mentally prepared, and having a basic plan in place. He wants to help others have one too. He's taught more than 100 of these classes in the last six months and says helping others has helped him in a big way. You know, I feel like taking that and bringing it to the public and, and is, is really kind of closed the loop on, on the whole experience. Now these classes are popular. As you could see, today's class was at capacity. We have information on how you can sign up for the next class or even schedule one for your group or business inside the WRCB app. Reporting in the studio, Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you.